Hi, how are you? Let's talk about scripture. The scripture readings have been taken from the book of Exodus, from the first letter to the Thessalonians and the Gospel of Matthew. And in them we see that we, we are able to see the God who loves us, then we don't have other option than to love. Reading the book of Exodus, we are asked the same thing. It's a consistency between how God treats us and how we treat others. The famous principle, do not do to others what you would like them do to you. Establish a principle of justice. We are invited to be good and compassionate to the foreigners, to the widows, to the orphans, to the poor. The element of justice is that we too need and will continue to need the goodness and the compassion of our God. But in the world, we have multiple examples of the opposite. All of us have witnessed at one point in our lives how multiple abuses occur against immigrants, against women, against children, against the poorest in our society, the oppressed, all in the name of the law. Usually, someone who complies with the law will call themselves a good citizen. The point is that one can comply with all the laws and in essence, still not be a good person. In the Gospel of Matthew, we have the encounter between the Pharisees and Jesus. The Pharisees were experts in keeping the law. They were very aware of the 10 mandates of the law. For them, the perfect relationship with God consisted in keeping the commandments. This made them worthy before God. Choosing one commandment more important than the other was not an option for them. When Jesus was asked, teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? They thought that this was a tricky question for Jesus that he was not gonna be able to answer. They wanted to trap him. But Jesus replied, you shall love the Lord, your God, with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. And then Jesus says, this is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law, says Jesus, and the prophets depend on these two commandments. Law. Laws are necessary to maintain order in a society. But the laws by themselves are not enough, are dry, are imperfect, and can often be source of injustices. People abuse and are unfair with others in the name of the law. Jesus does not ask us to stop complying with the law on the other hand. But he wants to tell he wants to tell us that every law is incomplete, is missing something, that every law needs as a requirement, as a complement, love. Love is required to fulfill the law. Love is the basis of all law in the beginning and all prophetic effort. It is because of the desire to love one another, 
to love better God and the others. That the laws were written. Laws alone are not enough for mutual love to be born. The gift of prophecy stream from the deep love of God and others. Love allows us to know ourselves deeply and to know the other deeply. That's why the prophets were so good at, a, at being able to see the direction of the lives of those they loved so much, like the people of Israel. That is why I say that all parents are prophets thanks to the love that they have for their children. It has been given to us, our neighbor, as a gift to know God better. We recognize that to relate and to get closer to God, we have to relate and get closer to others. We are good to others when we recognize that God has been good to us. If we fail to love others, it is because we have forgotten how God loves us. If we fail, we have forgotten how to love ourselves. Let us explore God's love for us. If we can see how God loves us, the natural consequence is to radiate that love to others. The natural consequence is that we love and by loving, we keep the commandments because they were born the true, true, true foundation of each one of them was loved. They are the fruits of God's love. When we keep this in mind, no one will have to specifically list everything we need to do to love. Do not kill, do not lie, do not cheat, do not abuse, do not steal, because the one who love does not do any of these things. St. Augustine expressed this in a beautiful way. We usually know the first part, but the whole paragraph where he mentions this is beautiful. The part that is most famous from St. Augustine is love and do what you want, but that doesn't stop there. Augustine says, love and do what you want. If you're silent, you will silent with love. If you scream, you will scream with love. If you correct, you will correct with love. If you forgive, you will forgive with love. If you have love rooted in you, nothing else but love will be your fruits. Therefore, let us proclaim the love of God. Let us be a vehicle through which others could see the love of God. And the love of God will redeem this world. God bless you and let us be saints.